In this video, you're going to learn how you can set up digital files to automatically fulfill to your clients. Let's say, for example, you want to give your client a pack of three digital files because it's something that you include with all of your packages, or maybe they've already previously purchased it. Whatever the case is, if you want to give your clients a credit for something or access to something without having to necessarily pay for it, that's a great use for credits in Sprout. What a credit in Sprout allows you to do is set up a credit in a shoot and you can basically take items from a price list, maybe it be prints or a product like a wedding album, and we did that in a previous video, or an engagement book or thank you cards, or the way a lot of our spreaders will use it is for digital files. So they'll take digital files and add it to a credit that their client can then go ahead and specify those images for. And you can even set it up to allow your client to then automatically download download those as soon as they have chosen them. So that's what we're gonna do in this video to show you how to use credits and how those interface and interact with digital files and auto fulfillment and so on and so forth. So let's hop in and do that now. I have my shoot Heath and Olive opened here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the credits and coupons section here and we're gonna click add new and then click add credit. We're gonna choose our price list. I'm gonna choose the wedding price list and then add. Now again, a credit just is a collection of items from your price list that your client can then specify images for in the gallery, that's what a credit is. So for this one though, let's say this is uh, three digital files. So let's again say that you include three digital files with your sessions or you wanna give your client the ability to download just three digital files, you can do that here with a credit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add item. I'm going to click digital file. I'm gonna choose the single one here and I'm gonna go ahead and choose three. So I'm gonna click add and then I'm gonna click create. Now that is sort of basically it. Now the client will have access to choose images for three digital files. And if you have it set up and configured properly, they'll also be able to download those immediately right away. The first thing that we're just gonna go in and check in our price list is I'm gonna go down into settings and then into my price list. We're just gonna make sure that we have digital fulfillment set up properly, gonna walk through that. So if I open that up, make sure, so by default in your price list, digital fulfillment might be turned off. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And then you can have digital fulfillment set up to automatically uh, be available for your client. So if your client were to purchase a digital file or if they were to have a credit for a digital file like we have here, um, you can have it automatically just give them the downloads, they can download it right away or you can have it as manual so that you have to then go and manually upload them and change the files and enable the download for them. But in this case, we're gonna have it set to auto, and then we're also going to specify the download preset, which is just, again, a configuration of a size and whether or not you wanna have a watermark on that. So I'm gonna leave that at high resolution, and that's basically all that we have to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and close, and just before I go back into that shoot and look at that credit, I'm going to go down into galleries and designs and look at download presets here just to kind of quickly illustrate what a download preset is. So here's my download preset here. I have it sized at 5,000 pixels. I could go original res or I could do a smaller size and then I can optionally add a watermark to it as well if I'd like to. I'm gonna leave that off for now though and that is basically it. So now if I go back over here into my shoot, again, just reviewing that credit. If I open up that three digital files credit, I've got three items here. It's currently waiting on the client, so nothing is there. If I open that up, I can see the three that are in there. If I need to make changes, I can remove one of them or I can add more items. Um, but that's basically what the credit looks like right now. So we're gonna go ahead and click update, and then we're gonna go overview, and we're gonna go ahead and view this as the client. So we're gonna go in here as if we're the client, and you can tell that I'm viewing it as the client because it says previewing as the client at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and open up one of the galleries. And in the top right corner, you see this credit available button. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And you can see there's my three digital files one. If I click that, this shows, hey, you've got three of these things here. So the client can now click this. They can obviously read more about what this thing is. This is where you can show off your, um, your photos that you've uploaded for it, or if you use Unsplash, you can have your details and your description, everything right there. But this allows them to grab a photo. So they can click here. They can specify what image they'd like and then go ahead and add that into the credit. And then keep going, do it for the second one. 
and then do it for the third one. And there, so now they've specified the three images for their credits. Now they can go ahead and press the submit button. Now, because you had it set up for auto fulfillment, you can see here that the download is already ready. So they can now click the download now button and it goes on over to this page here where they can type in their email address to request the download. This will go into this sort of waiting state. This could take a few minutes for them, but we will also email them a copy of the download once it's ready as well. That's why we collect the email address so that we can send them an email once it's ready so they don't have to sit here and wait for it. And there we are, there's the downloads. Now I can press download here and it will download a zip file with those three files in it all ready for them. Now, if we close out of this and go back into the back end of the credit and take a look at what this looks like for you and your perspective, um, if I open up this credit here, you can see that they've submitted those files, but you can also see here that there was a download set that was created for the client. Now a download set in a gallery is basically a collection of images in a gallery that you can turn on or off downloads for that specific one. And what it does is it actually creates a page like this that your client can go to to download the images on. So if I click go to gallery here, it's going to go into the gallery and it's going to navigate me directly to that download set. Now this is the download set that was automatically created by that credit because the client chose the images, you had the fulfillment turned on, it was set to auto so everything was good to go. If I click into here, you can see the download set right here. There's that one, it's named the same name as the credit. It has those files in it. And if I click settings on this, you can see that I've got a few options. Set download preset, it's set to that because that's what I had chosen for fulfillment. Uh, there's a link here, which will take you to the same link that we just saw on the front end. And you can even resend it to your client if you need to resend the, the email for this specific download set. You can also turn it off or turn it on. And if you go into here, just while we're in here, you can also make as many download sets as you'd like. So if you want to just gift your client something or give them specific images, uh, let's call one here free for you. Choose your download set or download preset and then click create. Now you have one right here called free for you. So if I go back into the main gallery here of images, let's say that I wanna give them this one and this one and this one, I can now just right click Say add to download set, and go ahead and say free for you, and then copy. And so now your client, you can go in here, go free for you. There's that those images. If I click in here, you can see you have the same configurations. I can go ahead and say live, and I can send the email to them now if I'd like to as well. And then they'll have a link to that. If I open that up, they'll now have a link to that specific download set. They can put their email address in and follow that same pattern. And so that's how you can use Sprout to uh, automatically give your clients a set of images. Uh, specifically, this is really useful if you're doing digitals. If you want to give your client a credit for three or five or 10 or 20 or one uh, digital files, you can do it that way. And then of course they can purchase their own via the shop, via the, via the uh, individual order button. But this allows you to do it sort of uh, ahead of time if you want to give them credit for something specific.